Welcome to another productivity video covering how to use Trello. Today I want to show you how to set up a board that I call a brain dump board and how that affects your productivity. First, before I show you what this board looks like, which is really quite simple, why a brain dump board? So I believe it's really important that you have a way to get ideas out of your head. So there are two advantages to this. The first is that if you have some kind of an idea, but you don't get it out of your head, there's a certain tension because you feel like, well, I have to hold on to this idea. I have to keep this idea so as not to lose it, right? So that maybe at some point later I can process it. And obviously that's not great because this tension or kind of trying to hold this idea in your head is distracting you from paying attention and focusing on whatever else you're supposed to be doing in the moment. The second reason is that I found a long time ago that if I create a process to get ideas out of my head and I create a place for those ideas to go, I tend to have more ideas. So this is hugely valuable to me. It is basically a way to fuel creativity. So having a place to put my ideas and knowing that, oh, if I have an idea about a business strategy, this is where it goes. Creating a place, kind of, it's kind of creating a container for this idea is something that makes more ideas emerge. So for both those reasons, a brain dump is the tool to use. It is whenever something pops into my head that I can't process right now, that I'm not doing right now, it goes into the brain dump. It grows onto the brain dump board where later it will be processed. So with that said, let's have a look at what this brain dump board looks like in Trello. Here's the example of the brain dump board that I use for active growth. And as you can see, the lists I created here are content ideas, review, roundup review ideas. So that's a specific category of content, podcast ideas, again, different category of content, free course ideas and product ideas. So these are the lists that make sense here. And this is where we just put any idea that we have for something we could do in the future for active growth before it goes into the actual board where we process tasks. And we also have such a board with similar lists for Thrive Themes and it makes sense to keep those separate because they're just two completely separate projects. The exact columns that you put into such a board really depend on the thing you're working on and on the project you're working on. One thing that I would definitely do is, so for, for any kind of project that where you create content, you definitely want to have a content ideas, right? So if it's your blog, if you make videos, you write articles, podcasts, you definitely want to have something like content ideas. But this and basically everything else, it depends very heavily on what this board is about. And one of the ways you can arrive at the right kind of brain dump board is to simply note, so you could have uncategorized, right? and simply note what kinds of ideas do you put in here. And this is something where, by the way, the, the mobile app is very handy. Most of the things I add to the brain dump board, I do on the mobile app because I'm not necessarily sitting in front of my computer when this happens. So an idea strikes, I get out my phone, I open the Trello app and I quickly note down an idea there. And so you simply start collecting ideas in your uncategorized list, and then you can start sorting them into categories that make sense for this board. Other lists that could make sense could be, you know, people to reach out to, to collaborate with in the future, and like you saw before, product ideas and stuff like that. Another good list to have on your brain dump board is notes to process. And this is good for your personal productivity process. And if you haven't seen my first video on this, check that out to see the personal productivity Trello board that I put together. So notes to process can be really useful. This brings it back to the purpose of why a brain dump is so important to begin with. It's important that you have a place to take ideas from your brain and take them out of your brain. And sometimes that's like, well, I want to kind of write about this or I want to note this later. And the point is that you don't have to try and hold this idea in your head until you get back to your computer or back to your notebook that you can simply write down, oh, write about this idea or you know, explore this thing or whatever. So you simply have a list of notes to process and then when you get back to your computer or to your notebook, you can go, okay, what are the notes I want to write? 
So this is especially important for me because I use writing a lot. Writing is an important part of my process. So I use writing, first of all, just to process what's happening, to process ideas, but I also use it to basically strategize. So I will have an idea and I'll think, oh, I have to write about this idea. And then at some point in the day, I'll sit down and write out my thoughts. And in writing is where I develop thoughts and develop strategies. So that is a column that I highly recommend you have for your personal productivity. Beyond the notes to process and beyond the uncategorized to just dump stuff in, what you put in your brain dump board is totally dependent on what the board is for and what you're working on. Once you have this board or multiple boards, maybe for multiple projects like I have, and you start getting used to using it, you start putting all of your ideas in there, the next step is to process it. So for example, for notes to process, ideally you have at least one time of the day where part of your ritual is to you know, write down your notes. So some kind of an introspective writing, maybe an end of the day, review of the day kind of writing, that's when you would go back, look at your notes to process and write them out. And for a lot of other types of tasks and things on the brain dump board it just becomes a great resource so for things like you know ideas for blog posts well at some point you're going to be in a situation where you're like oh i want to write a blog post what should i write about and that's where your brain dump board comes in it'll be filled with ideas for you to pick up one more thing about this if you have watched my previous video on how to create a personal productivity board in trello there's one more note about how to use this separate brain dump board. You can use it to move cards backwards from your personal productivity board and keep that a bit cleaner. Here's what I mean. Here's our example personal productivity board where we have a process that starts with a column that we call brain dump and we put stuff in here and tasks move forward from left to right. So we process them, we go into to do, priority, today, waiting, done. And this is how we set up a system for basically moving stuff forwards through this process. But what you'll find is when you do this system, your brain dump column, which you could also think of as your inbox, will probably grow much faster than you can process it. So if you do this for a while, you will have a longer and longer list over here of stuff. And it is difficult to keep this board neat when so much stuff is always coming in. Now, just like you want to move stuff backwards to keep stuff clean. So for example, if I have too many things in my priority list and I can't get them all done, I want to move some stuff back to keep my priority and today lists clean and to keep kind of an oversight of what I'm really working on. And similarly, we can clean up the brain dump or in column here by moving things backwards from here into the brain dump board. Now, one of the ways to do that is to open a task and move it, and then you can move it to a different board. You can also do a more radical cleanup, although I don't think there's any like super convenient way to do it. But what you can do is, let's say you clean up, you move everything into to-do that you're actually going to do, and everything else you're going to move into the brain dump. The way to do that is, you can do move all cards in the list, but you can only move them inside this same board. But what you can do is you can move the whole list to a different board. So you can move your whole list into your brain dump board, sort the tasks in there, and then when it's empty, you can move it back or you just delete it and create a new one here and start from scratch. So this is a way in which to process this column right here and keep it from overflowing in your main personal productivity work board. So that is my system of using a brain dump board. You can check that out using Trello. Also check out the other three videos I've done on how to use Trello. And let me know in a comment below what questions you have about using this, what feedback you have on this, and if there's anything else you want to know about how to use Trello to become more productive, just leave a comment below and I will be reading those and replying to most of them.